Hey, welcome back to Baird Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you five tips to uh, use Google Meet on the iPad. So check it out. I'm gonna show you my first tip and this is gonna blow you away. If you're using, if you've been using Google um, Meet for quite a bit here, you're gonna build up a history. Now, let me show you what I mean by building up that history. If you go to the top left-hand corner and you click on settings, okay, click on settings here, and then click on your account, and then click on Siri shortcuts. So look, I've built up a shortcut history. These are links that I use on a frequent basis, okay, on a daily basis. Where are these from? These are from my Google Classroom. I always use these because these are, these are my classroom links, okay? So instead of coming to Google Classroom, selecting my class, and then clicking on the, you know, Google Meet, what I can do is I can just use my Siri shortcuts. So I know this one here, for example, I'm gonna add this to my Siri shortcuts and I'm gonna give this a name. This is basically meet nine, this is grade nine B, okay? I'm gonna add that to Siri shortcuts. So now that I've added that to my Siri shortcuts, this is what I need to do. On my today menu here, if I scroll down to the bottom, I can go to edit and then I can add right to the top. I can click on add. And then if I go to Siri shortcuts, if I go to shortcuts, I can add, look, see, I can add the 9B. I can add 9B. In fact, I can add all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and add 9B here. And so here we go, we're done. So when I've got 9B now, I can go ahead and click on my shortcut and it will start my meeting straight away. Now this is a preview window. It will show me before I join that meeting. You know, is everything fine? Have I set up myself well? Is the lighting good? And then I can go ahead and join that meeting. Now check this out. I'm, I've started this meeting. I can wait for other participants to join this meeting. So let's just say I've, I'm here now. I've joined this meeting and everything's, this is all good. You know, we're here and everything's gravy. Check out the second, okay, the second tip. You can actually schedule your second meeting while you're in your first meeting. So check this out. If I click on this drop down menu, I'm not talking about the code, but if I click on the drop down menu, okay, this one here, I can actually go ahead and start a new meeting. Now I can schedule this, okay? And what I want to do is, as I'm talking in this meeting, so look, my meeting's still ongoing. There's an ongoing call. Maybe I've got a few participants in here and I've said, hey, actually, Jeff, what I'm going to do is we'll meet straight after this. Let me send you out a, a meeting link. So, you know, an agenda's come up and I need to talk to Jeff. So what I can do here is click this drop down menu, click on start new meeting and I'm going to get meeting info. So go ahead and click on meeting info. All right. And I'm going to share this invite. I'm going to go ahead and email it. I did say Jeff, but however, I'm just going to email it to myself. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and email it to myself and I'm gonna say, hey, meet me at three or meet me, yeah, meet me straight after. Meet me at 3 p.m. or whatever. Make sure I've uh, grabbed this meeting code or right at the end, this meeting code. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and I'm gonna send this out to bed. Okay, so now he's got that. All the while, I'm still in my meeting. So let's get out of there. I'm still in my meeting. Okay, so if I go back to here, look, I'm still in my me my current meeting and my participants are here and I'm saying to, hey, Jeff, just remember, I've sent you out a, a meeting link. We're gonna join that straight after. Okay, so where is that meeting now? I wanna go ahead and join Jeff. Where is that meeting? Now, Jeff can go to his computer, uh, his, uh, you know, his device, whatever, and he's gonna get that invite. You know, hey, meet me at three or whenever the time was and there's a link. Now, how do I initiate that meeting? So if I click on this drop down and I go to join a meeting, I can put that meeting code that I saved earlier on, okay? And then I can press on enter. Now, this is not gonna start the meeting. This is just showing me the preview. I'm still in my current meeting here. Look, I'm still in my current meeting, which is, you know, perfectly fine, great. Everyone's here, we're having a meeting. And I said to Jeff, Jeff, remember after this meeting, join me in, that, uh, in the new meeting. We need to continue uh, discussions on blah, 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 while these lot carry on. So while these lot are carrying on, I'm gonna go ahead and join Jeff. Let's check this out. If I click on this drop-down menu, this meeting is ready, yeah? We're ready to roll, yeah? It usually is the, um, the point when you're in a meeting and you've got meetings running one after the other. So look at this. I can go ahead and I can join this meeting. It says, you're still in the meeting, do you wanna leave it? Yes, I wanna leave that meeting because I've started this new meeting. Look at this, Jeff's gonna go ahead and join that meeting as well. Ask to join. Okay, look, here he is. It basically is beard myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and join that meeting. 
and here we go look so we joined a meeting as i was having a concurrent meeting as well so that's brilliant that's, that's excellent so that's tip two tip three and this is um this is impressive i don't know if people actually realize that they can do this tip three okay let's say uh, i decide here this is jeff let's say jeff decides to share his screen okay he's gonna share his screen and start sharing he's sharing this image of surds okay and so while he's sharing this image of surds i'm thinking blimey that's really small i can't i can't work on that or how can i see those agenda points did you know that you can pinch and zoom you can pinch and zoom okay so it's Tip three is that you can pinch and zoom. You can pinch and zoom while you're in a meeting, okay? Now check this out. Tip four is I can do my uh, split screen, yeah? I can split screen. So here we go, look at this. I can go ahead and pick up sp split screening. So look, I'm gonna work on this, uh, this SIR document, okay? And I wanna split screen. So look, I'm split, split screening here. Now, what's brilliant with the latest update is your camera still works when, you're, when you split screen, okay? So if this was Jeff on his computer, he could still see my camera, my active feed will be live. Now, look at this. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna full screen Jeff's um, presentation and I'm gonna pinch and zoom while I'm working out Okay, one of his questions here. So I can, I can actually work this out, take my notes, I can work this out while I'm doing this, okay? So I'm in the meeting, he can hear me, he can see me, I can see what he's doing and I can pinch and zoom. So split screening, and here's another thing, I'm right-handed so I'm using this side of the screen, okay? If you're left-handed, use the left side of the screen instead of covering over you know, the work and you can't see it, put this on the other side. How do you do that? Okay, let's just say this was full screen, just make sure you, put whatever the app is, let's say actually, let's just say it's notes or whatever, just put it on the left hand side so you can split screen that way. Okay, so you can take your notes here if you're left-handed and you're writing on this side, blah, 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 while you're pinching and zooming and seeing everything over here. Okay, so that was tip number four. Tip five, my God, tip five is gonna, really, this one's gonna blow you away. Now check this out. Let's say, right, Jeff wants to stop his uh, screen share. So I'm gonna, he's gonna stop your screen share, come back over here. I can come out of the split screen. Okay, so we're both live now. Jeff's camera's back on and you know, we're, 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 we've basically where we started. Now, let's say I'm the teacher and I wanna share my screen. Now, when I share my screen on the iPad, my camera turns off. So if I go ahead and I click on these three dots at the bottom, okay, click on these three dots and I, share screen and I'm going to start my broadcast okay one two three start the broadcast so from here I can share whatever I want to share now and the, my broadcast has started so I'm going to go ahead and maybe you know bring this here and say guys we're going to start working on some rationalizing some of these denominators and we work on this while we're doing this the students the students can't see me yeah they can't see me because I'm sharing my screen and the iPad doesn't allow you to share your screen and have a live feed at the same time. You can hear them, I mean, they can hear me and I can hear my students, but they can't see me. So what if, the, you know, what if I wanna show uh, you know, an active feed of my camera at the same time of going through a presentation or you know, annotating uh, on a slide or something? Go ahead and download Easy Teach. This is an absolutely free application, watch this. This is easy teach, okay? And what I've got here, I'm gonna show you how, I, how I've done this. Yeah, it will open up a blank. Just download this for free. And what I can do is I can open up my, my work, my PDF or whatever I wanna work on. So this is like the work that I was dealing with. This is like, you know, rationalize the denominator. And at the same time, what I can do is I can open camera and look, I've got an active feed for my camera. It might take a second to pick up, Okay, so now you can see that I've got my work here and I've got an active camera as well. And so my students, look, Jeff can see, you can see what I'm presenting at, at the same time seeing my face. So now I can start working on this. I can present, hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and rationalize this denominator. So we can go ahead and take this and remember what we wanna do, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Remember, Jeff can always pinch and zoom and see what's going on here as well. Okay, in fact, you can make this full screen and then go ahead and pinch and zoom. So many more, there's so many more. I think I might do another video for uh, students, student specific tips, okay? So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications to catch that video. And as always, thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.